Hello and welcome to my tutorial for solving the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. With this method you should be able to solve the 2x2 two two relatively quickly without having to memorize a ton of algorithms. This method requires that you only memorize about 3. Here we have a solved 2x2 two two, and the first thing we're going to do is scramble it. Take it away Benny. <laughs> Alright, so our 2x2 two two has now been scrambled. The first step in solving a 2x2 two two is to get one layer done. By convention, I start with the white side. Now I should note that on a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube, it often uses the Japanese color scheme. This means that white is actually opposite to blue. Blue, white. On a 3x3, three three, usually white is opposite to yellow. So just keep that in mind if you choose to solve white first. Now I actually got lucky here. And we already got these two pieces solved, but I'm just going to put this one in the back or something. So the first step in solving the first layer of the 2x2 two two is to choose a starting piece. So of course my piece is going to be white, so I'm going to find a white piece that I want to start off on. So you can use any one you want, but I'm going to use this one because it has the little Rubik's Cube logo right there. See? So this is going to be my starting piece. Now what you do with your starting piece is you look at the colors on it. So this one has white, yellow, and orange. So I want to find another white piece that has colors similar to this. It'll have either white and yellow or white and orange. So this one has white and yellow. Red is unimportant. This one has white, green, and red. So we don't use this piece. And then we can also use this one because it has white and orange. Here's my starting piece. And the second piece I'm going to use is this one right here. So you want to find the similarities between these two. So this one has white and yellow, and this one also has white and yellow. So that means it belongs to the left of this piece, because yellow is on the left side. We don't put it to the right because there's no orange on this piece at all. So what we want to do is put this piece underneath where it needs to go, which is right here. This piece ultimately needs to end up here. But we can't just move this piece up like this, because it will kick out this piece. See? So this is where we need to put this corner up here. If you have the white sticker facing you, what you want to do is move it away, bring your new corner down, and move this in. And bring it up. And now you've solved this part. So now we have two more pieces to go for the first layer. This one is easily solvable. All you need to do is just move it like that. And now we have three pieces solved. So now the final one. Look around for it. Here it is. And just like with any other piece, you want to put it underneath where it needs to go, right here. So now, I already discussed the case where if white is facing you, but what if it's on the bottom? If it's on the bottom, what you want to do is move it down, and so that puts this piece in the back, and then you want to rotate the down face twice, like that. Now you can bring your old corner up, position your new corner here, and now this is the other case. If you have the white sticker on the right, what you do is move the face down, Bring this corner in, and you finish the layer like that. So that is the first step in solving a 2x2. Two two. And now we're going to go on to the last layer. For the last layer, these are where our algorithms come into play. There is one for the first step of the last layer, and there are two for the second and final step of the last layer. To understand these algorithms, you need to make sure that you know your notation. Now if you know the notation on a 3x3, three three, you'll be pleased to know that it's no different than a 2x2 two two notation. And if you don't know any notation at all, you should probably look it up. Sorry, I don't have any time to um, explain it, but it's pretty straightforward. So, as I said, white is opposite blue, so this entire face needs to be blue. And the first step in the last layer is to what we call orient all the pieces. And this simply means we make every piece in the last layer one solid color. This does not mean that we solve the cube, but we simply orient all the pieces. So the first algorithm and the only algorithm for this step is called the soon algorithm and if you are familiar with the 3x3 three three, you'll be pleased to find out that this is the same algorithm however if you don't know the algorithm it is r u r prime u r u2 r prime so we did that and now you can see we have one piece oriented now when you have a piece oriented you always put it in the bottom left like that and then you just repeat the algorithm. And I know that this time I will solve it because we have 
um, a white or um, sorry a blue sticker facing us right here. So I'll repeat it. R U R prime U R U two R prime. And now we have oriented everything. Now if you run into a case where you have two corners and not one what you want to do is just still put one of them in the bottom left and then just repeat the algorithm until you finally get every piece oriented. And now we're on the final step of solving the 2x2. Two two. This is called the permutation and all it does is it swaps the QBs around the last layer without disturbing their orientation. There are only two cases that are possible. You need to either swap these two pieces like we do here or you need to swap two diagonal pieces. So in this case we have two pieces that needs to be swapped like this. So the algorithm for this is withholding the solve side on the left, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. That solves the two by two. Now you can run into another case, and I'll show you it right here. You could also run into this case when you're permutating your last layer we need to swap these diagonal corners here because you can see we have two solved ones in the outside here then this one needs to be swapped with this one. Now for this case you're going to use your third and final algorithm. You hold the unsolved corner in the top right and the algorithm is F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. So yes, these are quite long algorithms, but just keep doing them and they will just become muscle memory. So once you know those three algorithms, you can solve any two by two. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like these tutorials, you can subscribe to my channel. I have a ton of tutorials, not just Rubik's Cube videos, but I also have computer programming if you're interested in that sort of thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.